literally no part of me wants to do this. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my vlog for Mijo 577. In 2008, a Harvard researcher named Christoph Brandler decided to do a study about early risers and night owls. He found that early risers are more proactive. They set more goals for themselves and they feel more in charge of their lives throughout the day. They're also more likely to anticipate problems and find a solution more quickly and efficiently than night owls. On top of that, some of the most successful people in our society have attributed their success to waking up early, getting their day started too. Let's get right to it. This week I am waking up early and that is so devastating to me. <laughs> It's devastating for a number of reasons. The first is that I'm just not a morning person. I've never been a morning person. I've successfully never signed up for an 8 a.m. I think I had like a 9 a.m. one time and it just wrecked me and I probably went half the time. But second, we're in the middle of a stay at home order. So I don't really have that much of like an initiative to wake up early. I'm not even able to go to a coffee shop and get coffee or go to the gym, um, so we'll have to get creative. I love the snooze button and I love sleeping as long as I can in the morning. And I also love staying up pretty late, so this challenge is going to be tough for me. However, I'm going to try my hardest to wake up every morning at 6 a.m. This is day one of getting up at 6 a.m. during social distancing. <laughs> so dramatic, it's only 6 a.m., but I'm so tired. <laughs> I didn't go to sleep until like two last night because I watched a lot of Netflix, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to get up and shower, and then I have work at 8 a.m. anyway. I love this. <laughs> Good morning. It is not six in the morning anymore. I had such great plans for getting up early this morning, and I did get up and I showered, and then I decided I wanted to meditate and be very mindful <laughs> in the morning, and I definitely fell back asleep. We're gonna make coffee now because that's a necessity. So far, this whole waking up at 6 a.m. isn't going well. I promise tomorrow I'll save meditating for later in the day. I am so frustrated. I'm mad at myself. I'm so bad at waking up early. Good morning. It's 6 a.m. The birds are chirping this morning we're up this time i'm not gonna make the mistake of meditating this morning so we're already off to a better start than we were yesterday i'm going to make my bed make some coffee get my day started i feel like as long as i turn the light on and make my bed i'm much more likely to actually stay awake but again this challenge is hard because i don't have a reason to get up at 6 a.m right now I did work at 5 30 in the morning last year i was a juicerista and I had to wake up and open up the shop and cut fruit in the morning. And I'd wake up at 5.30, get there by six, and it wasn't that hard. I can get the things on time, and I do, but when I don't have to, I have no motivation to get up. Good morning, it's day three. It's 6.21 a.m. Today was very hard to get up again. I stayed up until like 1.30 with my roommate, just having fun before she goes back to Nashville. So I'm not running on much sleep, which is a problem. I'm pretty sure successful people, when they wake up early in the morning, they also go to bed early, but I'm not really willing to sacrifice like social time, so I just keep on not getting much sleep. Lucky for me, I have a media law exam on Tuesday, so I have stuff to work on. It's not as hard today. I won't lie, this has been the easiest day, even though I've gotten the least amount of sleep, but I guess I'm getting a little bit adjusted to it. Okay, it's finally sunny enough that I can go for my run. It's been a really good morning, actually. These last few days have been nice because I can have some time to myself to just get stuff done before like the whole world kind of wakes up, I guess. Anyway, it's been a nice change of pace to not roll out of bed and have to start working immediately. This run will be good too. I'm hoping that the trail will be empty, which will be nice because normally it's pretty full, so perks of running in the morning, I guess. I'm gonna work out, um, and then I'm going to start my day for real. Hello, good morning. Day four of waking up at six in the morning. I'm not gonna lie, it's like 6.30, but it's a Sunday, so I decided I would let myself sleep in a little bit. I think this morning's going to be a bit lazier. Birds are chirping once again. It's a great day to wake up. I only have one day left of this challenge, but it's been really good. I did it. My last day. This was my easiest day yet to get up because Cece's sleeping over and we went to bed at like two and I just rolled around until six. So I didn't really mind getting up because I couldn't sleep anyway. I'm kind of a zombie after this challenge, but that's okay. I have a lot of time to catch back up on sleep. So I'm not too worried about that. But 
I did it. I woke up at 6 a.m. for five days during quarantine, and I'm proud of myself because I'm not a morning person, and I probably never will be, but I was more productive than I would have been. Hello, it's me. I'm back after my five-day 6 a.m. wake-up challenge, and I learned a couple of things from this. I learned that I can't really help that I'm not a morning person, and I don't think that I ever really will be, and that's okay. But I also learned that there's definitely value in waking up a bit earlier and starting your day, and getting off on the right foot. However, your preference for when you wake up is called your chronotype and it's largely linked to your genes. I wanted to share a couple of words of positivity with my fellow night owls. First sign shows that we tend to be more creative than morning people. We also generally have a higher IQ than early risers. And lastly, studies have shown that we might have more mental stamina throughout the day than people who wake up early. So overall, it doesn't really matter when you wake up. You can get stuff done either way, but it's definitely been a really fun little social experiment for me to wake up early. And thank you so much for watching my journey. I'll be back next week with another challenge. Until then, like, subscribe, and I hope you're all staying safe. Bye.